In the United States, more than 11 million people have been infected with COVID-19. But President Donald Trump's focus is fixed on the legal battle over the election he lost. Today, Trump officially acknowledged that Joe Biden won, but still says he will not concede, claiming the vote was rigged. Tonight, pressure is growing on Trump to accept Biden as the president-elect and begin a peaceful transition. Jennifer Johnson reports. Pro-Trump supporters taking to the streets in several U.S. cities. Tensions rose in Washington, leading to over 20 arrests. The demonstrators repeating President Donald Trump's baseless claim that the election was rigged. The vote has not been declared, but they, no, there is no president-elect. It's all a lie. The Trump team keeps filing lawsuits in an attempt to reverse ballot counts. Already several cases have been dismissed. President Trump remains defiant on Twitter, saying, I concede nothing. We have a long way to go. This was a rigged election, while earlier writing that Joe Biden had won. Donald Trump's Twitter feed doesn't make Joe Biden president or not president. The American people did that. What, what we really want to see this week is the General Services Administration issue that ascertainment. That would allow President-elect Biden to start getting daily intelligence briefings and both the incoming and outcoming administrations to work together on the COVID-19 pandemic and administering a future vaccine. It's almost like passing a baton in a race. You don't want to stop and then give it to somebody. You want to just essentially keep going. That's what transition is. The U.S. has now surpassed 11 million COVID-19 infections. At least 25 states are reporting record hospitalizations, and several state leaders have again ordered partial shutdowns and travel bans. You must physically distance. When you cannot physically distance, everybody needs to wear a mask in public spaces. That's absolutely critically important. They do work. The Biden team says it's getting pressure from governors for a nationwide plan to stop the spread. My state's surrounded by four other states, and they all have different recommendations. That by itself is what we're talking about, standardizing how we're all going to approach this. President-elect Biden will be meeting with his COVID-19 experts and transition team all this week, with or without a formal concession from President Trump.